Oh, we can do frozen mallet. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That's pretty good. I need one more vein still. There we go. What a beauty. Four glacials. Let's try this. So I got the Zeke's bonus for my four um, high attack speed champions. I kind of don't need, like Zeke's on Bully Bear is good, but. Okay, that's, I th okay, this Tristana is gonna be a problem, but my Vayne should be able to kill everybody here. Good, good stuff. Kale always was one of my favorite champions. You know what's funny? Kale was always kind of my favorite champion too. Kale was one of the first champions I picked up when I played League in 2012. And I loved playing Kale. I remember Domini, when I used to do Kale top lane, before Kale got reworked, she was really good top lane. And I got really fed off of my Kales. She was pretty good. Let's level up. So we can have five glacials. Yeah, we can have five glacials. So I lost the noble bonus. But I think it's worth it. I decided to give Vol my enemy is pretty useless. Uh, Volley Bear attack speed is better, so I put Volley Bear on the fourth line. So we got 45% chance to stun. See, this is how I beat the Yordles, I think. Because Yordles, they dodge. This guy has six Yordles. Uh, but if I have one and two chance to freeze, basically, I freeze him so much to the point that his 60% dodge doesn't matter. Why don't you why don't you use arena skins? I don't even know what those are. You can we get skins? Kale for the Varus? Put the Kale instead of the Varus? Maybe. Maybe two Voli Bears. Oh no, we got the Kindred. Damn, I wanna put I'm, I don't want to lose the six glacials, I guess. I'm going to do double Volley Bears. Because that's everybody pretty much. Everybody on this team except for Leona has 45% has chance to stun. That's pretty crazy. Right? That's pretty crazy. My Volley Bears are also pretty beefy. Yeah, this is it, guys. <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. That's a lot of freezes. That's a lot of freezes. And then we can make Leona into a, a frozen... Give her a frozen mallet, too. Take out the Leona? Nope, we're not... You just gave Varus an item, yeah. That's, that's fine. Varus is almost... I'm probably going to put the Varus on the board anyways. Doesn't really matter. That one Negatron Cloak... I guess could be good on uh, Volley Bear, but... Um, yeah. I might go Curse Blade Varus. Or we grab the Kindred. Or the Sejuani. Or we go Dragon's Claw. Let's go Dragon's Claw. So I might, uh, I might sell the Varus actually, and then give the Dragon Claw to somebody. No, you know what? I'm not selling the Varus, dude. We have like, I should have just went for the Curse Blade. I was, I think Curse Blade would be a lot better on him. Varus is almost three stars. Okay, 
Okay, I'm just gonna hold off on this right now. You know what's funny? We still have a one-star Ash. So I guess uh, this guy is Gunslingers. He, he does silence, but we do freezes. So this is freeze versus on-hit items. He also has this arm with sword breakers. But I think the 45% chance to stun, you cannot silence that, bro. I don't know, he's kind of doing well, but we have a lot of freezes. Oh my god, he beat me. No, that Fiora, dude. That Fiora actually was pretty good. She had the noble bonus on. Damn, that sucks. That was pretty that was pretty close. I was forged by winter. Come on, where's the ash? Like hello, where's the ash? Yeah, Varus is close to three stars. And so is Volley Bear. I think I'll put the I think I'll try three rangers. I don't think we have the damage. Yeah, I don't think we have the damage with the Volley Bear. Let's just go with Dragon's Claw and Varus. Dragon's Claw is so good. Um. Yeah, I was thinking about the Curse Blade, which is really good on him because he has he's a ranger, he attacks a lot. I guess Curse Blade would have been also good on Varus, but Dragon's Claw is gonna make him survive to assassins, basically. He's immune to active skills, he's immune to sorcerers. So Varus is kind of chunky here. We got our second Nash. We got another Lissandra. Thanks for the follow. I think we'll try to get a 2 star Anivia. Anivia is better than Lissandra. <clears throat> so yeah, let's try that. That's a Knight's Vow. So we can have two Knights on the board with Sejuani now. That's not bad. We can make... Um, we can make... Uh, Tanky Ash. We could even do Knight's Vow and Volley Bear. Volley Bear is close to three stars. So is Varus. I'll probably make one of them into a Knight. Zelda Kindred. Yep, I know. The Vayne Zeeks is not hitting the most guy on the left. Yep. I know, bruh. Alright. Uh, kind of like the Yasuo. Turn said Volley Bear into a knight. Let's do it. Yeah. Volley Bear is a tank, anyways. Make it more tanky. Oof. This guy's the guy we lost to. He has a really strong Kale, too. That's gonna be like instant ults. And he's. My Sejuani could not activate her ult. Volley Bear can't activate his ult. They're getting disarmed. Dude, this guy's build is so good, though. Okay, the Varus, see the Varus add-on was good. It letting me do a bit more damage. Anivia did so much damage that turn. We gotta kill the Lucian though. Yeah, that was close. That was really close. I don't know, that Gunslinger blade, uh, Gunslinger build he's got is pretty broken. I think we do four rangers. Yeah, for, forget the uh, six glacials. Four rangers now. So it's the same guy. So we have much more damage output. We lose 15% chance to stun, which I think is... It's a big deal, but I need more damage output, it seems. Yeah, it's a lot better. I think this is a lot better. 
I should put Varus on the outside, though. Keep the Kindred inside. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot better. We were missing the damage. We're not selling the... That's exactly why I didn't sell the Kindred. Uh, you can't sell the Kindred, guys. She's absolutely integral to this build. Like, forget forget the whole 6 Glacial thing. That's really not important right now. I, I play a lot of Rangers to know this. I'm saying this from experience. For Rangers, you need to have that late game power spike. I'm looking for one more Varus. Damn. I think the 3 star Voli is going to be really good. He is a knight as well. So this guy has 6 Yordles. With Curse Blade Tristana at the back. Which is going to be problematic. Because Voli Bear will get reduced. I think he just got reduced to 2 stars yet. That sucks. But I think we have the Ranger power here. Holy Bear got... See, that 3 star didn't even matter. He went straight to 1 star. That's how stupid that item is. I spent a lot of gold to get that Holy Bear to 3 stars too. Yeah, so... That Dragon's Claw kept my Varus alive. He was basically immune to uh, whatever he was throwing at me. I think we grabbed the Kale. I think he's waiting for me to choose somebody. Yeah, I knew it. He was trying to do. He was trying to cock block me from that Kale. Nice try, dude. Nice try, dude. He tried to do it. I saw what he was trying to do. He was waiting for who I was going for. So. Swiftly now. There we go. I might sell the kill. I kind of want this off of her. Give it to someone else. Okay, I was going to put my guys far away. He kind of did it for me. Uh, that's good, because... I have a lot of range, so I was actually going to put my guys to the left hand side, but he already... Maybe he thought I was going to do it at the last second. Oh, look at that Gnar. The Gnar just popped my rangers. Wow, okay. I think we won. I have more attack speed, and Bane is a Glacial too, yep. So every single round in this game is like, pretty insane. I really want to level up, but uh, yeah, we can't. Can't level up. He's buying some stuff. Okay. I might change the formation of my champions. I might change my formation, not put them out. Okay, so the Nar is a big problem, man. That Nar is a sorcerer too. Yeah, the Nar is kind of the biggest problem in this team. I'm not even the Tristana is like really good too, but the Nar chunking out people is... Tristana is definitely a problem. Uh, definitely, definitely she's one of the problems, but the Nar is also just chunking people. Wow, I never almost make it to this far in the game. Usually the game is over. I don't think this guy's gonna beat me. Yeah, he's not gonna beat me. I don't think I even have space for a kill. I might just get rid of her. Because the sixth unit I'd probably put is Anivia. But Kale is so much better than Anivia. So. Actually, you know what? We might actually drop her. Let's get some more income for our next turn.
So Infinity Edge. That's really good. I guess we give it to Ash. Or we give it to Varus. But Varus is kind of a tank for me right now. That's why he's sitting at the edge. Might do this. Yeah, I had enough gold to level up just one more time here, but... I don't think I even need to level up. If I lose, then I'm gonna level up. The reason why I didn't level up is because I want to make the most income possible. I know I have one more round to survive. So... Yeah. We're gonna survive this round. We're going to level up next turn. For sure. So I get plus four more gold, right? I get four interest gold. That's why I didn't level up this turn. Hey man, what's the best gold spending strategy currently? Well, you have to build income as much as you can, first of all. So we're gonna level up. Because now we're getting close to death. Hopefully we roll into a third Kale. Yep, no Kales. That was unfortunate. Oh, I, I was trying to position my guys there. Damn it. These two guys are out of position. But I think spreading out is actually better. Spreading out is actually better because his Gnar... When I'm close to... Also his Tristana, the closer your champions are... The more Gunslinger procs come off. So, Tristana hits three random enemies in her range. You want to kind of spread your guys around Tristana and Gnar. If you're two group, then Gnar will be chunking everybody in the air. It's actually better to spread out. It wasn't a bad idea to do that. Even though, yeah, I kind of ran out of time there to move my guys. But yeah, addition of the kill was all I needed there as well.